Hey guys, what do you know? I did manage to make another video in a week. Who knew? And I thought that since my channel is mainly devoted to Zelda stuff, I should begin these with a story of how I first discovered the Zelda franchise. Should be fun. Now, some of you may have discovered it because of a friend who played it, or a sibling, or even just online hype. As for me, my discovery was a bit... Mm, unique. You see, when I was about, oh, I don't know, seven or eight years old, I don't remember. Anyways, uh, in the mail, we had gotten a strange package delivered to our house. Uh, it was a VHS tape? It's for, uh, I don't understand it either, but it promoted a video game. Apparently, Nintendo or some video game companies thought it was good publicity to mail videotapes to random houses hoping that they will buy what's promoted on the tape. I don't know. Maybe maybe somebody ordered it from a magazine or something? I don't know. I thought I I thought I remember asking somebody uh what happened and no one could give me an answer. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, it just showed up one day and it's like, really? It just showed up one day? Video game comp companies really just send out VHS tape? Okay, whatever. Anyways, uh, it's kind of weird. <laughs> By the way, for those of you who don't know what a VHS tape is, it's like a DVD, but ribbon. It's not a disc, it's ribbon. We had ribbon technology in the past, now we don't anymore. It's lost to us. Forever. <laughs> anyways, oh, anyways. Uh, now, the game promoted on this tape, getting back to the story, obviously, the game promoted on this tape was not a Zelda game. Surprisingly enough. No, the game it had on it was actually Banjo-Kazooie, of all things. Uh, the, vis the video basically went through the game describing what you do in it, as well as give you tips of uh, when you, for when you play the game. Uh, the whole point was to pique your interest and get you to buy the game, obviously. Uh, and maybe it's just me, but the narrator kind of reminds me of a toned-down stamper. It's Banjo-Kazooie! The coolest headbanging, beak-busting, sky-flying, rock-hopping, egg-shooting, tag-teaming duo in a new game with so many thrills, chills, spells, and splats, you won't be able to put it down! Like I said, maybe it's just me, but yeah, sounds, sounds like a toned-down version of him. I don't know. Anyways, as a kid, I found the video kind of interesting, but honestly, the most interesting part was when we got to the end of the video. You see, here we got to see several quick uh, quick shots from other 64 games. Uh, got a taste of what else you could play along with Banjo-Kazooie if you wanted to buy that game. Uh, but out of all of these, the one that caught my attention was the one that had a green-clad warrior fighting monsters and dragons. You see, when I was, uh, when I was little, my dad had taught myth a mythology class at the local school. Uh, and he would have, like, movies based on various mythologies. And he would often watch them at home before bringing them to class. And I would get to watch them with him. I got to see a lot of different movies. They were all a lot of fun. Uh, I loved it. <laughs> my dad's awesome, by the way. <laughs> I fell in love with the idea of being this epic hero who would fight against giant monsters and horrible evil to save the day and maybe even a princess or two or something along that line. Uh, so when I saw this game uh, and heard about it, and pretty much it was a game that would allow you to live out that dream, that exact dream, and how could I say no? <laughs> I was hooked just from that trailer, and, you know, I... I remember going to my brother Andy and asking him what the game was and what it was about. Uh, my He pretty much knows everything. I would not be surprised if it turned out that he he just had a, a universal knowledge of everything. He Seriously, I he just seems to know things. Every time I start talking about something, he already knows about it. What the fuck? <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I asked him if he knew about it when I was a uh, back then, and he did, obviously. Uh, he told me about how it was a game where you go on a quest to save the world and solve puzzles and all while fighting monsters and an evil wizard and... Oh, it just sounded so awesome! 
So I put it on my Christmas list and waited in anticipation. <laughs> so how was it? Well, today we can look at the game and say its graphics are outdated and that the gameplay needed polishing. Uh, that's today though. Back then, this was the greatest thing I had ever experienced. It was wonderful, fun characters to interact with, challenging puzzles, epic battles, and a fantastic story. Oh man, this was the game that got me into video games. Like, I played them before, but this was the one that made me obsessed with them. <laughs> Oh, I loved it. Loved it so much. But you know, the funny thing is... <laughs> the funny thing is, I would never have known about it if it wasn't for that odd v VHS tape that advertised a completely different game. A game I never bought or played, by the way. I, I hear Banjo-Kazooie is really good. It's some of people's really favorite game, but... Meh. Just meh. I'm not really interested. Whatever. So, yeah, that was uh, how I first discovered the Zelda franchise. Uh, games that, to this day, are some of my most loved and sought after. Uh, so... Yeah, that's pretty much that's pretty much the story. Uh, VHS tape showed up. It had Banjo-Kazooie on it. I saw it. Thought, eh. Uh, saw some extra ads for other games. S saw the one for Ocarina of Time. Fell in love with it. Got it. Played it. Loved it. I've been obsessed with it ever since. Woo! <laughs> uh, so, anyways, to wrap this up, I want to ask you a quick question. Uh, what was your What was your guys' uh, first introduction to the Zelda franchise? I'd love to hear about it. And do some of you even play the Legend of Zelda series, or do you just enjoy my videos because I'm funny? Or that I pretend to be funny, and you all just humor me because you feel sorry for me? I don't know. Either way works. <laughs> Uh, anyways, let me know in the comments below, comments below uh, what your first introduction to the Zelda franchise was, if you can remember it. Uh, and I'll see you guys next Sunday with another video, hopefully. I am trying hard at these. Uh, anyways, love you. Bye.